हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बायो यूनिवर्स आई एम सुयंका एंड टूडे वी विल लर्न द लिविंग वर्ल्ड अर्थ हैज वन पॉइंट सेवन टू वन पॉइंट एट मिलियन नोन ऑर्गेनिज्म ईच वन ऑर्गेनिज्म इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म वेरिएबिलिटी प्रेजेंट एमोंग ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर इंडिविजुअल्स कम्युनिटीज एंड इको सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड बायोडाइवर्सिटी इट इज नॉट फिक्सड न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर बींग कॉन्टीन्यूसली डिस्कवर्ड सच अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स कैन नॉट बी स्टडीड विदाउट डिस्टिंक नेम्स एंड अ प्रॉपर सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन नॉमिन क्लेचर इज प्रोवाइडिंग प्रॉपर स्पेसिफिक एंड डिस्टिंग नेम टू ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनिजम्स द वर्ड नॉमिन क्लेचर इज डिराइव फ्रॉम लेटिन वर्ड नॉमिन मीन्स नेम एंड कैलरी टू मीन्स टू कॉल नॉमिन क्लेचर और नेमिंग इज वनली पॉसिबल वेन द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज डिस्क्राइब करेक्टली एंड वी नो टू वॉट ऑर्गेनिज्म द नेम इज अटैच टू दिस इज कॉल्ड आइडेंटिफिकेशन नॉमिन क्लेचर इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स कॉमन नेम्स एंड साइंटिफिक नेम्स कॉमन नेम्स आर लोकल नेम्स विच आर गिवेन टू ऑर्गेनिज्म इन अ पर्टिकुलर रीजन एंड लैंग्वेज बाय लोकल पर्सन each region tribe and language has its own specific names for organisms known in the area so that they can be properly identified for example rose in english is gulab in hindi gulab in bangla and rosapo in tamil similarly butterfly in english is titli in hindi prajapati in bangla and vanathu pochu in tamil scientific names are specific and distinguishing names assigned to organisms by the scientist so as to remove ambiguity and make the names universally understood by other biologists binomial nomenclature is a system of providing distinct and proper scientific names to organisms each consisting of two words first generic and second specific the two words names were first used by cato they were not based on any scientific system binomial nomenclature for scientific naming of organisms was developed by carlos linnaeus in 1751 all valid names for animals under binomial nomenclature are the ones given by linnaeus in the 10th edition of his book systema nature are published in 1758 all valid names for plants are the ones given by linnaeus in his book species plantarum published in 1753 the word binomial nomenclature is derived from latin word bis means twice and nomen means name and calere means to call let us take the example of mango to understand the way of providing scientific names better the scientific name of mango is written as mangifera indica let us see how it is a binomial name in this name mangifera represents the genus while indica is a particular species rules for binomial nomenclature were initially framed by linnaeus the rules were revised in 19th and 20th century through international code of botanical nomenclature and international code of zoological nomenclature the important rules are biological names are generally in latin and written in italics they are latinized or derived from latin irrespective of their origin the first word in a biological name represents the genus while the second component denotes the specific epithet both the words in a biological name when hand written are separately underlined or printed in italics to indicate their latin origin the first word denoting the genus starts with a capital letter while the specific epithet starts with a small letter it can be illustrated with the example of mangifera indica since it is nearly impossible to study all the living organisms it is necessary to devise some means to make this possible this process is classification
we can say that classification is the process by which anything is grouped into convenient categories based on some easily observable characters for example we easily recognize groups such as plants or animals or dogs cats or insects suppose we were to say mammals we would of course think of animals with external ears and body hair likewise in plants if we try to talk of wheat the picture on which of our minds will be of wheat plants not of rice or any other plant hence all these dogs cats mammals wheat rice plants animals etc are convenient categories we use to study organisms The scientific term for this categories is taxa and taxonomy is the study of rules principles and practice of classification identification and nomenclature of organisms the term taxonomy was coined by D Candoll in 1813 Carlos Linnaeus is considered as father of taxonomy and systematics is the science connected with identification nomenclature description and classification of organisms based on unique properties of every species and groups of species at every level of classification the word systematics is derived from the latin word systema which means systematic arrangement of organisms The term systematics was coined by Linnaeus in 1751. Classification is not a single step process but involves hierarchy of steps in which each step represents a rank or category. Category is a unit of grouping in a system. Taxonomic category is a unit of grouping of any label used in taxonomy or classification of organisms. Usually there are seven obligate and a few intermediate categories used in taxonomy. Hierarchy is a system in which members of a type are organized in ranks one above the other. Hierarchy of categories or taxonomic hierarchy is the system of arrangement of taxonomic categories in a descending order depending upon their relative dimension. It was introduced by Linnaeus in 1751 and is therefore also called Linnean hierarchy or taxonomical hierarchy. Taxonomical studies of all known organisms have led to the development of common categories such as kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. Species is the lowest or basic taxonomic category which consists of one or more natural populations of individuals that resemble one another more closely than individuals of other species interbreed freely have a distinct ge- genetic setup and are reproductively isolated from others Let us consider Mangifera indica, Solanum tuberosum and Panthera leo. All the three names indica, tuberosum and leo represent the specific epithets while the first words Mangifera, Solanum and Panthera are genera and represents another higher level of taxon or category. Genus is the first higher category above the level of a species. Genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera. We can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species. For example, potato and brinjal are two different species but both belong to genus Solanum. Lion and leopard and tiger with several common features are all species of the genus Panthera. Family has a group of related genera with a still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species. Families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of plant species. Among plants for example three different genera that is Solanum, Petunia and Datura are placed in the family Solanaceae. 
among animals for example genus panthera is put along with genus felis in the family felidae if we observe the features of a cat and dog we will find some similarities and some differences as well they are separated into two different families felidae and canidae respectively Order is a taxonomic category having one or more related families that possesses some similar correlated characters which are lesser in number as compared to correlated characters of genera of a family. Plant families like corn volvolaceae, solanaceae are included in the order Polymonials mainly based on the floral characters. The animal order Carnivora includes families like Felidae and Canidae. Class is a major category made of one or more related orders that possesses certain similar correlated characters. For example, order Primata comprising monkey, gorilla, gibbon is placed in class Mammalia along with order Carnivore that includes animals like tiger, cat and dog. Class Mammalia has other orders also. Phylum is a taxonomic category higher than class and lower in rank to kingdom. The term phylum coined by George Cuvier is used for animals while the term division coined by Eichler is employed for plants. A phylum or division consists of one to several related classes having a few similar correlated characters. Based on the common features like presence of notochord and dorsal hollow neural system, feces, amphibians, reptiles, birds are included in the phylum Chordata. Kingdom is the highest category in taxonomy where all the organisms included in it share a set of distinguishing characters. For example, all plants in plant kingdom or all animals in animal kingdom. As we go higher from a species to kingdom, the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing. Lower the taxa, more the characteristics that the number within the taxon share. Higher the category, greater is the difficulty of determining the relationship to other taxa at the same level. Hence, the problem of classification becomes more complex. Let's see taxonomic categories of some common organisms. Biological name of man is Homo sapiens and it belongs to genus Homo, family Hominidae, order Primata, class Mammalia and phylum Chordata. Biological name of horsefly is Musca domestica and it belongs to genus Musca, family Moschidae, order Diptera, class Insecta and phylum Arthropoda. Biological name of mango is Mangifera indica and it belongs to genus Mangifera, family Anchardaceae, order Sapindels, class Dicotyledonae and division Angiosperm. Biological name of wheat is Triticum astivum. It belongs to genus Triticum, family Poesi, order Poils, class Monocotyledonae, and division Angiosperm.